All right, so I'm going to start off by placing a photo on my workspace. This is the photo. You can use any photo that you like. I'm going to remove the background of this photo and I'm going to make it larger and place it where I want it to be. So I'll just place it right there and I'll make the background black. I'm going to download this photo. And I'll create a new page. Now for this page, I'm going to go over to an app. The app is called Text Shape. Here it is. And we're going to change the colors. Now, in the text box, it already has predefined text. You can add up to a thousand different words in here. I'm just going to keep the words that are in there and I'm going to change the color. So I want to use the color white. And what I'll do is I'm just going to get rid of the rest of the colors because I just don't need them. Uh, now I'm also going to come down to the advanced and I want to use bold and I also want to reduce the spacing so that the words and letters appear tighter. So I'll just minimize that to about four. And I'll add the design to my workspace. So here it is. And now what we're going to do is we are going to duplicate this to fill the whole page. So I'm going to go very quickly. So I'm going to duplicate and copy and rotate. And once you're done, you're going to download this as well. So we just want page two. So I'll just download that and I'll create another page. And what we're going to do now is we're going to bring in those images. So I'll bring in the first and I'll bring in that second image right here. And we're going to blend these two together. So we're going to go to apps and we're going to use the blend image app to blend these two together. So I'm going to use the text as my top layer and I'm going to use the photo of the man as my bottom layer. And this is what we're going to get. Now, don't forget, we are using multiply. So click the drop down and find multiply. That's what we're going to use. And this is now there aren't any other selections. Just add the design to your workspace. I'm going to add another page and I'm just going to bring that design onto my page here because I want you to take a look at what this looks like. So here it is. And that's pretty much it. I hope that you enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, press that like button, subscribe, and turn that notification bell on. For now, my friends, I'll say bye-bye until next time.